Exactly one year ago today, President Joe Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law. Now he's making it the centerpiece of his reelection campaign, but most Americans say they're not aware of the legislation. As Fox News correspondent Caroline Shively reports, the president has now taken his case directly to the public to highlight the benefits of the new law. President Biden and his top aides have made more than 120 stops to tout the Inflation Reduction Act since he signed it into law exactly one year ago. This law is one of the biggest drivers of jobs and economic growth this country has ever seen. But most Americans still don't know what's in it. In a recent Washington Post poll, only 27 percent said they know a good or great deal about the IRA. It makes the largest investment in clean energy and climate action in the world, touching every sector, power, transportation, buildings, industry, agriculture, and forestry. The law contains $500 billion in spending and tax breaks. $132 billion of it goes to clean energy projects. About half for electric vehicles and batteries, and half for renewable energy sources like wind and solar. The administration says that will create 86,000 new jobs. The law also beefs up parts of Obamacare, helps seniors pay for prescriptions, and caps insulin costs. Corporations and the wealthy are picking up the tab. So it's raising interest rates. Well, the private sector takes a direct hit. One thing the Inflation Reduction Act doesn't seem to do is reduce the deficit. The bill was touted by Democrats as a way to bring it down by $300 billion over a decade. But the final product will likely fall well short. It's still a huge, huge deficit, and spending is way out of control. The White House says the IRA is just starting to be felt by Americans, with many programs not kicking in until next year or 2025. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.